Hey guys, welcome back to NK Beauty. I know I'm in a weird spot today, I'm right in front of my mirror. <laughs> I'm then going to be using MAC Soft Ochre and applying that all over my lid just as a primer for my eyeshadow. <laughs> That's the story of my life nowadays. <laughs> I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette uh, favorites, Morphe favorites, Jaclyn Hill favorites by Morphe. There we go. And using the light brown shade just as a transition color in my crease, blending that up with a nice fluffy blending brush. I'm then going to be going in with my Too Faced Naked Eye palette and using the shade Heaven on my brow bone and just blending that downwards. After that, just uh, topping up on the brown shade and then using a clean blending brush to blend all of those colours nicely together just so that we have a really beautiful transition. Going back into the Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette and taking this Nike... Nike? <laughs> I can't speak today guys. This nice pink shade and applying it all over my lid. This shade is really shimmery so it's really going to make your eyelid pop. I loved it. And then taking that same clean blending brush and blending out everything so it becomes seamless. I'm then taking this nice purple shade and applying that in my crease. Now I am going to be patting this on because I didn't really know how pigmented it was going to be because it was the first time I'd used it. So I was trying to be as careful as possible. After I found out its strengths, I then blended it out. I absolutely love this shade. As you can see, I'm sort of focusing it more on the outer edge as well. I'm then taking the deeper purple shade and literally just patting that on the outer corner. I just wanted to deepen up that outer corner a little bit more than it was. I didn't feel like it was, I guess, it didn't have that pop that I wanted. So I patted it on and blended it out. And that is the eyeshadow done for this look. I'm then going to be taking a nude waterproof liner and lining my waterline. After that, taking my e.l.f. gel liner and lining my eyes. Again, sorry, this is such a bad angle. I know, the camera did not want to focus and it was just horrible. I was trying to get really close to the mirror because I'm like completely blind through my eyes. Not literally, um, but I have very bad eyesight so I need to get quite close to the mirror. I ended up finding an angle <laughs> good enough for you guys to actually see what I was doing. Initially, this was actually supposed to be a get ready with me, which is why I don't have my foundation on, but... That is why you guys can see all my beautiful blemishes on my face. <laughs> but I figured we might as well do the foundation, have a talk through and tell you what I'm doing. By the way, for all my Muslim viewers out there, Ramadan Mubarak and I hope you guys have a good one. And then curling my eyelashes and applying mascara. I'm using my Revlon Photo Ready 3D Mascara. I'm applying a few coats on this, I'm trying to be generous. I don't want to apply falsies, that's why. Thank you. 
I'm then taking my L'Oreal Infallible foundation and applying that all over my face and I'm going to be patting that out with a damp beauty blender. I absolutely love this foundation guys. Can you like you'll be able to see like even when I was editing this I was like whoa that is crazy like the way my face just completely transforms is unbelievable. It's so lightweight as well, so it's not like one of those ones where you feel like you're being caked up with all this foundation. No, it's amazing. I don't like cakey foundation, I don't like feeling foundation on my skin, and this one is just to die for. <laughs> I'm then going to be taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Again, absolutely love this concealer. It does wonders to my face and my dark circles as well. Can you see that? It's like an eraser. I think it actually says a razor on um, the packaging. But yeah, again, I'll just be blending that out with a damp beauty blender. If I have been wearing foundation, then the beauty blender is what I've been reaching for recently. Purely because it really does pack it on and make it feel lightweight as well. So I don't know if it's just the foundation, but I absolutely love the beauty blender as well. Then all my footage went. I'm really sorry. I did not um, show you my eyebrows. I also applied just a little bit of that deeper shade on my lower lash line and mascara. I also applied um, some blush. I believe I used Desert Rose by MAC. And I lined my lips with MAC's Cherry Lip Liner. And as you can see now, I'm actually going over it with Too Faced melted lip product i don't remember the exact name i think this one's uh melted berry my friend zayna got it for me i absolutely love you for this it's so gorgeous but yeah that is the end of the look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh let me know if you like it or not and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye